Hey guys, I'm Kyle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Authenticator app not working for iPhone and Android. So let's get started. So now, if you are in Android, don't worry. If I'm using an iOS, it's basically the same thing. You can still do the same steps that I am doing here in uh, the iOS device into your Android device. So now, the first thing that we would need to do is to update our Microsoft Authenticator app to ensure that there is no outdated settings or outdated features or the version of our app is not outdated. So you want to go Microsoft Authenticator right here. Search for that right there. And you want to make sure that you don't have the update button here on your Microsoft Authenticator app. If you have one, then you would want to tap on that so that you'd be able to download and install the update on that app because that might be the one that is causing you error. So now once you have updated that, then everything should now work fine on your authenticator. If not, then you can try and re deleting and reinstalling your Microsoft uh, Authenticator app. So you want to hold into that and then tap on delete app and then delete it. And then you want to install it again here in the app store. Same goes for the Android devices. You can basically do the same steps. And if it's still not working, then what I suggest is that you simply restart your device. I know it's very simple, but it might just solve your problem because um, most uh, problems are easily solved by restarting your device. So just take the chance to restart it so that it might be fixed. But if not, then it is highly likely that you are not doing it the right way. You might not be setting up your authenticator in the right way because all of the solutions that I have provided so far should work for you. So now let me show you how it's done. So the first step is to tap on a plus button on the top right of your screen. So tap on it. And then from here, you can choose from personal account or work or school account, depending if it involves a Microsoft account. But in my case, I'll just go for other for this example. And from here, you can scan a QR code if you have that information. But in this case, I'll just choose to enter the code manually. So I'm going to tap on this button right here. So now this is the account that I am setting up for the authenticator. So I'm just going to tap on enable here in Binance. And then as you can see, I have the QR code right here. So you can just, so I can just scan that if I want to, but I can't because I only have one device. So I'm just going to copy the code above that. That would be my 16 digit key. So I'm going to put or paste this here in the authenticator. So paste it here under secret key. And I'm going to name this account name. So I'm just going to go for Binance. 2FA. And then once you're done, tap on finish. And then after that, it will now be listed right here. So you would want to copy this uh, one time password code first for the first time and then tap on next here and then just paste it right here. I mean, just paste it right there and tap on submit. And then it should now work right here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it has now been listed as my 2FA here in Binance, which means that my linking to my Microsoft Authenticator is now successful and it should work by now. So make sure that you have done the same steps in linking your accounts here in Authenticator because chances are you are just doing it the wrong way. So that is basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.